Hi, my name is Randall Herndon, and this is an informational video on the dark side of consumer behavior. There are many dark sides to consumer behavior, such as consumer terrorism, addictive consumption, consumed consumers, and the illegal acquisitions and product use. Consumer behavior can be harmful to both individuals and to society. A few years ago, a crowd assembled for a big holiday sale at a Walmart store in New York. When the doors opened, the crowd trampled a temporary worker to death as people rushed to grab discounted merchandise off the store shelves. A lawsuit filed on behalf of the man's survivors claimed that in addition to providing inadequate security, the retailer engaged in specific marketing and advertising techniques to specifically attract a large crowd and create an environment of frenzy and mayhem. Despite what we may think, consumers' actions often result in negative consequences. We would like to believe that all consumers are rational decision makers that try their best to calmly and lawfully obtain goods and services that will maximize the well-beings of themselves their families, and their society. Sadly, this is not always the case. Consumer terrorism is the practice of introducing dangerous substances to food or other consumer products to extort money from the manufacturer. In 2003, a grocery store in Grand Rapids, Michigan recalled 1,700 pounds of ground beef after 111 people became sick with nicotine poisoning. Randy Bertram, who worked at the store, had combined insecticides with the meat to get his boss in trouble. The victims included approximately 40 children, a pregnant woman, and an elderly man with heart problems. Luckily, even though the amount of poison added could kill someone, no one died or had long-term effects from it. He was incarcerated for nine years and charged a fine of $12,000. This is just one of many examples of consumer terrorism. Consumer addiction is a physiological or psychological dependency on products or services. Even though we associate addiction to negative things such as alcohol or drugs, you can be addicted to almost anything. Consumers can be addicted to things such as the newest cell phone, chapstick, or even Krispy Kreme donuts. Companies prosper from selling addictive products or offering tools to cure the addiction. An example of a type of addictive consumption is compulsive consumption. This refers to repetitive and often excessive shopping performed as an antidote for tension, anxiety, depression, or boredom. Shopaholics turn to shopping in a similar way addicts turn to drugs or alcohol. According to a study published in the American Journal of Psychiatry, approximately 2-5% to 5 of Americans have a shopping addiction and more than 1 in 20 Americans have a shopping habit that jeopardizes their relationships or careers. Consumed consumers are people who are used or exploited, willing or not, for commercial gain in the marketplace. Some examples of these are prostitutes, organ, blood, and hair donors, and even babies for sale. It is estimated that businesses are cost more than $40 billion per year due to crimes committed against them by consumers. Among all the different types of consumer theft and fraud, shoplifting and employee theft is the most common scam. Every five seconds, someone commits retail theft. The large majority of shoplifting isn't done by professional thieves or even the people who genuinely need the items. The majority of the shoplifters that are caught are middle or high income people who solely do it for the thrill or as a way to get attention. Counterfeiting is also a large problem, which accounts for more than $600 billion in global losses annually. Counterfeiting crimes 
stretch from duplicating designer handbags and watches all the way to fake pharmaceuticals. I hope this information helped you learn about the dark side of consumer behavior. Although this presentation did point out many negative aspects of consumers and their behaviors, it is the many more positive consumer behaviors that will help maximize the health and well-being of ourselves, our families, and our society. Thanks for watching.